Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, and our ruler of the month is fast and easy. From Creative Grid, we are featuring one of the charming five inch templates. Now there's five of them. Nope, there's six of them. And this one is the hatchet template. Nice thing is in every single one of these packages is the template and a free pattern. But if you'll look behind me, some of these quilts have more than one template used to get that extra dimension to the design. Now this one is the hatchet template. So we actually made X's and O's. This one is the free pattern that comes with the template. And the one behind me features the snowball template and the hatchet template is used in the border. So if you're looking for a fun border option, why not reach for one of these? Now I had a teacher that said, once upon a time is to cut up my squares left over from a quilt into five inch squares because I will use them eventually. This is when I'm using them. And I'm gonna show you really quick how we create this particular block. Here is a close up look of some of the other patterns available all using five inch squares. The hatchet template we're using today, the whirly gig template, the five inch square, this is nice because it helps you uh, fussy cut out of the middle of a piece of fabric so all your five inch squares have something uh, prominent displayed. The snowball template, the set on point square template, and then half square and quarter square triangle template. So these are all available on our website. You can buy them as a set or individually. So here's what's nice about this template. Okay, so for the hatchet, everything you need to know is going to be written on the template here. First off, it's very obvious, we will be using it to cut from the five inch square and go ahead and trim on both sides. Now I'm usually a little cautious when I start using smaller and smaller templates. It's one thing when I use big rulers, but here is where things kind of move. But with the Creative Grid rulers, just a little pressure makes the frosting on the underneath side stick to your fabric. Also doesn't matter if your fabric is right side up, upside down, or anywhere in between because this is a symmetrical piece and you'll get exactly what you need. So after you cut your pieces, it also says on here, cut one three and a half inch square and then cut diagonally for corners. So go ahead and take your three and a half inch square, cut it in half, go across it, and those are the pieces you need to sew on the outside edges. So just go ahead, fold that over, kind of center the points from the top edge to the lower edge, and it will come out to be that perfect five inch square when you're done. So check out our website to see other pictures using this hatchet ruler. There is one more area you need to clean or can clean underneath the throat plate. First, you're gonna use the setup menu, the picture with the gears, and go into the cleaning area, the tools. No, that's what, that's what it's called. It is called the um, cleaning calibration icon. 